Well, doctors hope we are nearing the endemic phase of this pandemic as more states loosen restrictions. The daily average of new COVID cases in the U.S. is now below 60,000. The CDC releasing new data showing that while the shots helped folks stay out of the hospital, the protection was weaker than previous surges, resulting in much higher rates of infection. The agency says it's proof the effectiveness of the vaccine wanes over time and that boosters are needed as the new BA2 subvariant spreads across the country. Georgia's COVID-19 case numbers continue to drop as well, with just over 1,400 confirmed infections today. The virus has hospitalized about 1,800 people statewide. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin spoke with a microbiologist tracking the pandemic about what could be next for Georgia. We've been checking in with Dr. Amber schmidt -Key for almost two years since she created an online newsletter covering the pandemic here in Georgia. And this time around, we talked about masks and booster shots and when we may finally know that we're on the other side of this pandemic. These days, many Americans are taking off their masks, but microbiologist Dr. Amber schmidt -Key says she will keep wearing her KN95 indoors when she's not sure if the people around her are vaccinated or vulnerable. Because there are a lot of immunocompromised people in and around us, and those people are still at very high risk of the complications that might come from catching COVID-19, even if they're fully vaccinated and boosted. But with Omicron cases falling, schmidt -Key says your risk of getting infected is dropping too, at least for now because we do have a sort of built-in temporary herd immunity that happens afterwards. And so you'll see this lowland disease that happens in between. And really, that's the time if you're a person that's been putting off a major surgery or something like that, this is the time to try to get that scheduled. But for the most part, for the rest of us, it really is, it, I don't think it's a license to go out and live your best life necessarily without any caution. Um, but you can afford to take more risks than you could have a month ago. So what about booster shots? Do fully vaccinated people still need one more shot? I would always encourage the vaccine just because it gives your immune system just another bit of practice to recognize the threat and to respond to it. You know, we have seen reinfections happen. Uh, even if you've been infected before, you get infected a second time. And schmidt -Gee says we don't know how long boosters will provide protection or how well they'll work against future variants. So could we need another booster shot down the road? I fully anticipate that we're going to need to be getting regular boosters, kind of like we do with the flu vaccine. Um, mm -hmm. I would love it if they could come up with a combination vaccine that's both flu and COVID so that we can get it in one go. And if you look at the pandemic, there's a pattern, schmidt -Gee says, of surges that come in the summer and then the winter. I think we should be prepared that we will see another surge. I think it would probably happen in the summer. So when will we know that we're really out of the woods? If we can make it out of the summer without a surge, if we can make it through next holiday season without a surge, then I think that we're talking about putting this a little bit behind us, right? But unfortunately, what we've seen is that each successive wave seems to get bigger than the one that preceded it. So we're not quite on that downhill slope when it comes to the overall cadence of the pandemic. And the federal mask mandate for airline passengers will expire March 18th. No word yet on whether the Biden administration will extend that requirement or let it lapse. For your Fox Medical team, I'm Beth Galvin.